friends, welcome to World of Breeding and Extensions. My name is Joy Fido and today I'm bringing something really exciting to you. Something that everyone's been asking about for as long as. So we felt it's important we share it with you. Welcome on board. Okay, so what's this exciting thing? It's working with the natural hair, which is one of the big questions we get asked all the time. So today you can see I'm showing off my natural hair, which most times um, is always in one form of wig or another. But of course, that's the beauty of natural hair. You have that ability to change your hairstyle to suit your mood. And that's what I do all the time. I, I know my hair is healthy and beautiful underneath it, but I could wear whatever I feel like wearing. So that's the big message I like to share with people. Protect your natural hair while you can still be whatever you want to be. So we're going to be talking about natural hair today because it's one of the biggest questions I've been asked over and over and over. Okay, so our client today is Garen and you've seen him in so many of our natural hair videos. This is all his hair. We've been working with his hair now for some time and his hair is one of the reasons um, I decided to really understand the natural hair and how to care for it. So what we're going to talk about today is going to be focusing on the seven, I like to call it the top seven natural hair crimes. These are the things we do without knowing that's causing the problem we are struggling with with our natural hair. So that's why I decided to bring Garen today again to show you what we're what we're going to be doing with this hair in order to guide you to work with your natural hair okay so like i said the, the title of this video is we say is the top seven natural hair crimes um we're basically saying top seven things not to do with natural hair top seven things not to do with natural hair so garen's hair it's a bit dry today and it's for a reason. Um, we took out this hair about three days ago because um, we were doing some photo shoot with it. <clears throat> and after that, the plan was we're going to cut it because uh, he's planning on making it a lot shorter because he's starting his secondary school and he didn't want too much hair to be his problem at school. So we, we decided to take this hair off and then slowly working with it, doing the photo shoot and taking it out. But today, I wanted to show you this before we do this cutting so obviously it's an opportunity for us um thank you garen for giving us your hair to work with but this hair is dry today and number one thing you should not do with natural hair is dryness now why is dryness not a good thing what you find is when hair is dry it starts to snap so any little thing I do with this hair now, if I'm not careful because I understand hair, I will be snapping his hair. Okay, good thing we are about to cut this hair, but ideally you want to keep your hair, you don't want it dry. Because at this stage, anything you don't do right will make the hair break. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to detangle it. So what happens with dry hair is it tangles itself, it locks itself inside each other. And so the strands of hair are not sitting on their own again. Now remember our hair is naturally coily. So the minute you allow it to dry, it wraps itself around each other. And so the things you'll be getting will be snapping, hair snaps off you'll be tangling so they're wrapping themselves around each other and you'll be snapping we said snapping and you'll be knotted so if you look at the tips you find the knots look at the little knots locking themselves up so again this is where i have to come in to make sure this is not happening look at that and so this is one of the things people are experiencing when they have natural hair it is dry we make this mistake of shampooing the hair then we dry it and so the minute we dry it hair becomes difficult to manage 
So you see all the things happening. It knots itself, it tangles itself, it starts to break. And that's when you hear people say, my hair is really tough to handle. Even just feeling this hair because it's dry gives me that feeling of toughness. Okay, so that's what dryness does to natural hair. You don't want your hair dry because when it's dry, that's when all the unhealthy things happen to our hair. So please, the big message is that's, that's what not to do to your natural hair. And this is one of the questions I get asked all the time. My hair is so dry, so tough, what should I do? Don't let it get dry. That's number one. So number two is just leaving your hair free. I, I hear this all the time and I see this all the time. People think, oh yeah, I'm growing natural hair. That's it, I should leave it alone. That's what you should not do. Never leave your hair on its own, flying about by itself. You can see how thick these strands are that I've done with Garen. Once we finished our photo shoot, his hair was all over the place. I still had to create time to do this. Because the minute you leave this hair like this, what happens is oxygen comes in. This is what creates the dryness. Oxygen comes in, sucks up all the moisture. The hair becomes dry. So whatever you do, put your hair in some form of protection. That's why you hear protection styling. Um, my oldest daughter now is wearing her hair again natural. That's what we have in the family without any extensions When I say natural, I'm not thinking extensions and Every night she just hates the fact that she has to twist her hair or Conroe her hair or do something to her hair That's just the way it is. That's what afro hair needs. Do not leave your hair like that. Go to sleep what happens, you wake up in the morning, it's all tangled and matted. It would just blend into each other and twist itself all over the place. And then you're going to be struggling to unravel it. So, leaving your hair on its own creates mattedness. It will be so matted that you struggle to unravel it. So, whatever you do, once you've decided, I want to go natural. Do not leave your hair sitting down doing nothing. Do something to it. Okay, so we're talking about um, leaving your hair on its own. It also creates shrinkage. So you hear people struggling with shrinkage. My hair shrinks so much, it's just become less than two times its original length. Yes, because you left it on its own. So all the moisture is gone and the hair shrinks. So shrinkage comes from leaving hair on its own. Uh, mat the hair gets matted from leaving it on its own. So the advice is you could either do a two strand twist, which is what I've done now. Watch what happens when I take out the two strand twist. The hair has definition. I know where the strands are. I know how I can access them, which is in this case, I'm still detangling because we were doing something with this hair. So I can easily work with the hair once it was in something. So two strand twist is one of the easiest ones. Um, cornrows is another one. And then the regular natural braid is another one. So those are the three ways you can work with your hair every night. If this is what you want to do. But what I always say to people is, if you really must leave your hair free, let it be for a good cause. Let it be for a good reason. Today you feel like showing off your hair, which my other daughter does, from time to time, summertime. I want to show off my hair. Okay, that's free. That's okay. Look at that. So when you release the hair, it will look all long and nice of its natural length. And you will not see this shrinkage appearing not right away. But the minute you do this and then at night to still leave it like this and go to sleep it will shrink it will mat that's not where we want to be so cornrows two strand twist um regular natural plaits or braid it's okay and in the morning take them out 
those are what we call the protective hairstyles so do any of those or if you're not thinking in that line then locking it is another option again there are different ways to start locks today is not about locks today is about working with your natural hair yeah so do not leave your hair on its own please 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 big big no no it's a crime for natural hair okay so number three um natural hair crime is heat you applying heat to your hair all the time some people use this the hot comb so to say um the flat iron again to straighten their natural hair some people use the blow dryer to blow their natural you know blow out the moisture and straighten the natural hair now all of that what they do what we've talked about earlier is create dryness so what you're doing when you use all this heat item you're taking out the moisture from the hair big big message do not put heat on your hair since we started growing Garen's hair, we've never used any heat equipment to take out anything from his hair. All you need is moisture, which we're going to talk about, and water with a perfect product. We'll talk about that. But the minute you start applying heat, you're creating dryness, and that dryness is what's going to make that hair snap, is what's going to make the hair break. So no heat at all, please. I get clients who say to me, oh, I was struggling. I finished shampooing my hair and I needed to dry it before I come and get my hair braided. You don't need to dry your hair. If this person is going to braid this hair, they actually do need moisture to be able to braid good braids on your hair. So no heat, please. Number four, Afro hair crime or natural hair crime is the wrong products wrong shampoo product wrong conditioner product wrong lotion or moisturizer products and so i got quite a few products here that you you need to see um blue magic this is 2017 and i still hear people with natural hair saying i use blue magic this is all grease all it contains is petroleum and what petroleum does it just tightens your hair blocks all the pores and nothing is going to happen to your hair it does not bring in any moisture it's just oil on its own and not good oil at that pink oil is another one i would not recommend pink oil for natural hair care i use pink oil when i'm braiding if you're braiding hair and you want these strands to be smooth and the free freeziness to disappear for braids yes but not on your natural hair itself so the wrong products don't do you any justice um we talked about shampoos any shampoo that is not silicone free or sulfate free what they contain is a lot of um a lot. so what the regular shampoos do is contain too much detergent there's no moisture in it um, they come in and they clean they just cleanse your hair now for afro hair we don't need that type of cleaning because what it does it takes away every little moisture that the hair contains and watch whenever you finish shampooing your hair it becomes so tight that you cannot detangle it and that's because of this type of shampoos that we use the same thing with the conditioner they also mat the hair so what you want for shampoo is silicone free um this shampoo no this is conditioner so for conditioner we need something that says silicone free silicone free the the focus here is not the brand is this item silicone free so when you're looking for your conditioner make sure you're picking that out and for the shampoos again 
sulfate free sulfate free again ignore the brand but it's one of the brands that i i tend to use so if you find that brand and you like it that's fine otherwise the main thing you're looking for in shampoo is sulfate free in conditioner says silicone free in products lotions hair butters hair butters are absolutely necessary but when you hear hair butter now try your best and read the ingredients on it i haven't put ingredients on mine this is my product um because i haven't gone to the stage of creating fancy uh what's it called labels for my product but of course i make my product for my clients so if you do need a product that will help your hair grow and become tango free and moisturized this is what has been doing that job for me now the ingredients in my products are all natural i can tell you some of them shea butter coconut oil glycerin um castor oil neem oil tea tree oil peppermint oil so these ingredients are what i have in my products and then of course with the um regular um essential oils to give it that lovely beautiful smell but when you're buying products out there depending on where you're located look out for these natural ingredients stay away from things that contain just petroleum because they're not going to help your hair in any form so that's a no-no again wrong products on your hair will not help your hair at all so number five crime is washing method or shampoo method um recently we did a little video but that was insta instagram video again we've done lots of videos showing where we're shampooing guarantee now when you have hair this long and you're shampooing your focus is to just work with the hair and allow them to be in their normal natural length like that shampoo goes in and you're concentrating on the hair as well as the scalp so you go into the scalp and you kind of like just massage it a little bit without going all crazy because this is what lots of people they, they see the adverts on tv where hair hair types that are not our hair type People are under the shower and they're going with their hand all over their hair, going like that. And then they think that is the way to wash hair. That's not the way to wash hair. And that's why we've done a lot of videos showing how we wash this hair. Ensure your hand is on the scalp. Massage a little bit so you make sure the scalp is clean. And then you just focus on rinse it out the shampoo to make sure it's free. And make sure it is a shower head you're using. Shower head so that the water is draining out immediately. So wrong shampoo method, it's very, very bad for Afro hair. Okay, so number six is the hairstyles that you created. Um, we start, or you will be creating. We started with telling you the protective hairstyles. We said two strand twists, we said um, natural braid then we said um, cornrows now yes for him it's okay because he's a boy and so we're not looking for anything complicated for him now this is for instance a girl and then um, you want her hair to be all pretty she's going to school she wants to look good what hairstyles do you put on this hair yes you will add extensions what you don't want to do is complicate the hairstyle lots of people do that they go and create very detailed complicated hairstyles and what happens especially the Ghana con roll when it is done wrongly it will actually cause damage on the hair so the hairstyle should be as simple as possible if you really want your focus to be you want to grow your natural hair please 
the less complicated the better unless you're not really that fussed about it if you're not fussed about it you can create amazing hairstyles with your hair no problem but we do get people come here with such damaged hair and then yes they want to create crazy hairstyles that's fine if you've already damaged your hair and you're not bothered anymore you can do what you like but if your hair is still very natural very healthy don't complicate it with complicated hairstyles. It just starts to destroy your hair. Because when it's time to take out that hair and you start to tangle with that hair and you don't know what you're doing taking it out. Like one of the things I've heard from clients a lot is time to take out the hair is one of those really frustrating times for them. So please, for your natural hair's sake, do not complicate the hairstyle. Number seven, natural hair crime. Everybody I know who wears natural hair thinks, oh yeah, and I know what to do. I'm the expert, I can manage my hair. And I get parents come here all the time asking me, what should I do with my hair? Um, uh, with my child's hair. My child's hair is like this, like this, and I'm trying to do this and do that. Please, if you don't know what you're doing, can you just go to an expert? Could you go to someone who makes it their business to care for natural hair? I mean, I had a client recently who was relocating to another country. And I've been working with her hair for as long as. And that was one of the biggest things she was struggling with. How is she going to find someone else who can look after her hair? If you don't know what this is, please. I, I remind people all the time, the number of hair salons we have all over the place, we would not have them if everybody thought they knew what to do with their hair. So yes, this is one of the areas where I'm trying to train as many people as possible with natural hair care. Do not try to manipulate your natural hair by yourself or your child's natural hair. Because then I hear people all the time saying, it was so difficult I had to cut it. It was so difficult I put relaxer in it. If you don't know what you're doing, please seek a professional's help. Seek a professional's advice. Go to somebody who know what they're doing and they will guide you. You could contact me. I'm happy to you know, contribute or help people in whatever way. But please do not sit at home and try and manage this hair all by yourself. It is not as easy as you think it is. Natural hair is not easy at all to manage. So if it's a hairstyle you love to wear, please seek advice, seek help, seek professional support. Okay, so you remember we said seven things and so our seven things are gone, the seven crimes. But the one of the crimes we have not mentioned, which is an extra, is the tools that you use for your afro hair so remember afro hair needs large combs large combs large combs large combs so if that comb is not large enough to go into this hair don't try and put it in and um the next thing we were going to we are going to show you is how to comb this hair. That's going to come. But for now, you see what the comb is doing. So the comb has to be big enough to work with the hair. And another thing you should never try and do is try and force afro hair to just comb straight. It will not do that. It is coily. So give it time give this comb time to detangle that's all we're trying to do with this comb detangle the hair so that has been um our tips on how to care for your natural hair and you can see garen's full head of hair here something we've been copying and working with so we know what we're talking about otherwise we'll not be here with this amount of hair on his head if we've been 
victims of these crimes that we talked about. We've tried it on and we know how it helps. All the things we've talked about. So we hope this has helped you. We hope you learn from this and you'll be able to manage your hair. We'll be quite excited if you can send us some images of your hair, things you've achieved with them. Um, we'll also be more than happy to support you if you have any questions on this. So we look forward to seeing you in the next video and thank you so much. Remember to follow us on Instagram because we do show a lot of these things in short short clips. So you can at least have a quick idea of what's going on. Um, follow us on Facebook. Um, remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends who are struggling as well with the natural hair. God bless you.